Hey guys, welcome back to Rudrick Plays Life is Strange. We reverse time. Because of her Keep it together, Max. And this is kind of crazy. We have all this stuff in front of us. Jefferson asked me a question. Just like we did in the beginning. Let's take a selfie again. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a And we're hearing this again. <laughs> a word for a wonderful photographic We're tradition. a time lord. Yay. Has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Definitely it's tell. it's real. Your generation so I can go back in time. Mm -hmm. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always Maybe. Been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. And we can skip this. Uh, let's say I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Oh, crap. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style. And we get to hear this totally crappy in the metro zone. again. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? Well, we learned a useful fact. Maybe we can go back and change things. Change things. Let's give it a shot, shall we? The Darian process. The Darian process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Woohoo! Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> Take that, Victoria. Made Screw you. Hugely popular, mainly because it gave <laughs> the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish. And we chapters. get to go through this Max little part so again. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo Unfortunately, I cannot skip this cutscene, even though we've already seen it, like, twice. Woohoo! Yay, San Francisco, kickstart career in photography. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. I see you pretending not to see me. Yay, yeah, we, we heard this already. you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. That it is. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Don't need to look at any of that again. Let's just walk towards the door. Oh, wait. We didn't even check this last time we were in here, did we? Stop this bullshit and go see oh, that well, okay. Whatever. Oh, crap. Hello. And we're going to skip ahead and say... I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Indeed, he did. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Uh, let's see if we can do something different with this. This is my favorite form of rewind because it goes right to the moment. He's turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Let's do this. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. And unfortunately, we can't skip Excuse this, us. which kind of sucks. Of now we can skip this, though. John Lennon once I'm said... On it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Woohoo! Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. We might. Okay, let's go be a hero. Out into the hall we go. Let's save the girl. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. They definitely will. So let's just go past all this and into the girls' bathroom. We go. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. And then... Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! 
Okay, we can't skip this because it's a major cutscene. Um, we need to hit the fire bell. I need a hammer to break it open. Sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. Let's get this. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass today. Um, break. Woo! No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. We did it. We saved her. By the way, yes, I already know how to do that. <laughs> I have played this game before. Hey, it's your own fault, buddy. Shouldn't have brought a gun to a Time Lord fight. This cannot be real. I just um, it did. Shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do I not freak out. Well, let's get out of here. Maybe we'll be all right. Maybe we'll be fine. We should be. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse me? Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Get out of here, run a cop. <laughs> uh, Mr. Madsen. You're a bit of a pain. Well, I guess we could thank the principal for getting that out of us. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Well, let's find out. A little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? Uh, maybe. You always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. This is a major decision point. This affects a lot of things. Um, I'm going to show you guys this one first. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. Hmm. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've mm. only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. What? I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Yeah, we could. Let's see what that option looks like, shall we? Let's try again. Let's report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. Uh -huh. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. I mean, she just Mr. told Prescott you. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. So? And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So? So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened? Well, it happened. Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is... Serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's mm. it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You could, but in all honesty, I prefer this option because Nathan Prescott can, you know, he can step on attack for all I care. Just because he's a member of a distinguished family and a good student doesn't mean he's invincible. 
So, you know what? He can't do anything, so I'll gladly accuse him of what he actually did and tell the truth. Some of you may disagree with me, but that's okay. Ah, the beautiful campus. As you can tell, we've already got a couple of things happening. Hello, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Um, I'd love to. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? Um... A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. <laughs> this might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Well, let's try the other option then. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... Is this legal? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many... And we get that line of dialogue again. That doesn't work. Let's look around. Ooh. Hey. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks... What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Huh. High Fly B400 Evo. Interesting. Oh, really? Wait, we can use that? Hi, Brooke. Let me get... Yeah, we can. <laughs> that looks like a high fly drone. I um, haven't seen this video? conversation yeah, before. Nice <laughs> You're full of surprises. Why would How you did know I miss that? this the first I time through the game? Oh well, whatever. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. Definitely. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Wee. Truth be told, I've never actually flown a drone in real life. This is cool, though. How did I miss this the first time through the game? I didn't know that would happen. Instead, I just, like, accidentally pissed off Brooke, and she was all like, Yeah, Warren said you were cool. You're actually pretty stupid. And I'm like, geez, Brooke, screw you, too. I guess I'll let it loop around, because I don't know. Whoa. I was about to say, Max, please don't crash this thing. Oh, God. That picture is kind of crazy. Skater boys, of course, Max is going to look at the skater guys. And we're going to swoop back around, and I think we're about... Is this where it's going to... Oh, nope, we're looking at a tree. We're looking at a tree. Never mind. <laughs> and I think we started somewhere around here. Yeah, we started somewhere around here, and we're going... Yeah, now we're going in a circle, so we're just going to hit circle to quit. That's sweet, though. Thank you, Brooke. What does she say now? I bet David Madsen would love to spy on us with this kind of drone. Oh. Here. Give the drone a whirl around campus. Oh, and we just do it again. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I <laughs> I thought she was going to have some extra dialogue, because sometimes people do give extra dialogue after you have a conversation with them. Not always, though. Nope. Oh. Flash drive. I need some info in space. Hello. Running late, insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I Sweet. better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That is indeed our next mission. But we are not quite ready to do that yet. We have a lot of people to talk to around here. Including this guy, Hayden. If we can actually talk to him. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Meh. He's got nothing on Rudrake the ladies, man. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's he sounds high as a right. kite. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Oh, you're so important in the Vortex Club. <laughs> what the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? Yeah, what Seems is so it? Elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. Oh, excuse me. It doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. <sighs> But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Yeah, sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not Miss Party. That's because you haven't partied with us. 
or even Victoria, who's pretty funny when she's baked. It seems weird to think about partying. Yeah, no, thank you. You're hot. not a party person. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. What about Rachel? So you knew Rachel Amber. I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Wow, well, you know. What happened to her? What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. You, wow. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Yeah, I kind of want to know. Think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Hmm. So Rachel's in the Vortex Rachel Club? Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. Really? I, deny I ever said that. Oh, I bet you would deny you ever said Do you that. Do really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Okay, though. He does seem unstable, though. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. No, thank you. No, thank you at all. Oh, it's a fountain. Oh, let's sit down and relax for a minute. This day has been so insane. Mm-hmm. Everything is happening too fast. Too fast, too furious? And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Surely we will. There's little points where you can sit down and max or collect your thoughts. It's really kind of cool. And since this woman was the first person I saw, oh, there's Brooks Drone. Let's go talk to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. Oh, definitely. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Okay. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Uh Yeah, but it could have helped Rachel. These cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless our soul. Mm -hmm. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Um, running them out of their land was definitely not uh, peaceful. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Hmm. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Uh, I personally choose to not sign. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. Uh, but, for the sake of this Let's Play, I'm actually going to change my usual answer and show you guys the other option. I'm We're going to skip Excuse a lot me. of this. Sure. Sure. I David Matt. And then we already know about David Madsen, so we're just gonna say that's crazy. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope. 
and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Hmm. Blackwell Academy. And we're gonna skip ahead here, and I'm gonna say you know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I true. have a secret wish to teach local. Very true, religions. actually. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now before I assign you home. And we're gonna skip ahead, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sign. Absolutely. I Normally I go security, with the don't sign just because. Just I think it would have helped Rachel, and I think it would also help any other student that would happen to go missing. And personally, David may not be the greatest person ever, but I personally just like, you know, security cameras might be a good idea. But I'm changing my answer for this Let's Play, so you guys can see it. That was kind of a hefty discussion, so whoops. So, we're going to sit down and reflect once more. So bizarro to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. Yeah, that's usually not always With the case. Shit going on? I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Yeah. Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. Yeah, <sighs> those come later. This is what it's like to be alone and That's a beautiful videos. picture right there actually. Uh, all right Max, let's get up. We've still got more people we need to talk to. There's a few over this way. Actually one of my favorite people is right over here. Let's see here. Let's look at this. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. It's a shame she doesn't take a picture of that. I really wish what, what the heck is this? That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. That is really cool. And here's one of my favorite characters, Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Of course. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Oh, what happened to her? So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. Ooh. I just hope she's okay. I hope so too. You knew her? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her poster for sure. All over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. Me. No way, you're a good substitute muse. I think Max is kind of cute. I mean, it's kind of the nerdy cute, that's for oh, sure, but that's a good posture. I'm not going to lie. In high school, the nerd girls got to me just as much as the cheerleaders did, so... You know what? In high school, Max and I would have been a funny good. match. Good. And I like Daniel as a character. Some people find him a little creepy, but, eh, you know, he's a creative soul. That's, that's a good drawing. And yeah, this acts will have consequences. I don't care, though. I, I like um, Daniel, and I love inspiring his drawing. Last but not least, we have the Skater Boys. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? <laughs> You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, should walk on. Hmm. Let's try that again. Yo, just check out the map. I came to no slide. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nope. Nah. I just can't skate or shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Let's try a no slide. I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Sweet. 
Let's uh, see the other thing. Let's do it with a tree flip. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh! Uh, you okay there? Oh, we do we really need to take a photo of this? Eh, of course, why not? <laughs> I didn't know that was in the game. I feel kind of bad though, so let's rewind and do something a little different. <laughs> We still keep that, don't we? Let's see. Where is the... Um, that, that, uh... Um... No, 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 okay. We're just gonna say no slide and let it go from there. I'll skip to the next Yo, conversation. Justin, check out. Host. Nah. Oh. I'd love to see a... Let's get... Okay, now that we've done that, let's talk to Justin one more time. Hey, you never really escaped Betty. I used to be. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel, Amber, and her punk friend used to skate with us. Oh, really? You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day, she just vanished. Oh. She's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her will get a skate posse and take them out with her boards. Sweet. Punk friend? Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. Hmm, that sounds Stuff familiar. With us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You hang with Victoria? With Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Definitely. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Oh, we got an action shot, all right. It just wasn't the one we thought we were going to get. Anyway, that's it for today. It went a little over, but join me next time for more Life is Strange. Rudrick out. It's the Mean Girl crew. <sighs> Wonderful. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her Mean Girls. <laughs> Max, we think alike. I like you. Oh, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell.